Hi guys, it's Max from HotOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a uh, pure Nexus ROM here running on my Pixel XL. This is available for the Pixel and the Pixel XL. I uh, really like it. Um, it's got some customizations. Uh, pure, pretty pure ROM. Um, you're gonna get very good pure experience uh, along with some customizations. All right, uh, performance has been very good. I got about 141,000 uh, on Antutu, and also battery life is pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, some of the customizations you can do with uh, Pure Nexus ROM. Go into settings, and you'll find all Pure Nexus settings under Pure Nexus settings. Uh, some of the options are slightly different from some of the other ROMs, so let me go ahead and walk you through. Uh, for lock screen, you can double tap to sleep anywhere, lock screen torch, and also you got notification drawer. Um, you can customize your notification panel. Uh, force expanded notifications, brightness slider, uh, vibrate on touch. All right, you can also change out uh, the number of columns um, so you get more room uh, for your quick toggles if you want. Ah. So now you'll see I can get more items in my quick tiles, which is really good. All right, custom header image. Uh, let's go into recent apps. All right, not too different here. Uh, also status bar, um, you got battery settings, you can go ahead and customize. Let's actually go ahead and customize it together. Uh, status, let's change that into circle. Battery bar. Um, clock settings, this is sort of nice to be able to put it into center clock, left clock. Uh, also date, you can go ahead and show date in small if you want. And let's go ahead and check out uh, double tap to sleep, brightness control, uh, notification count, uh, double tap to sleep. Also you can quickly, oops, quickly change the brightness, simply uh, going back and forth, which is very nice, I like that. And also you've got a navigation bar. Uh, you can actually change the dimensions if you want, make it a little bit smaller. Let's say you want some more room for the screen. You can set it like that. Also, you can um, customize some of the buttons. It doesn't allow you to add custom app buttons, but you can go ahead and add spacers, uh, some of these buttons. Menu key if you want. I'm changing it around. Not as too big of a fan of this snap bar tuner. It's okay. All right, power menu is really good. Um, you can add screenshots, screen recording, uh, all of this. Device lockdown, I don't even know what that is. But you see I've added screenshots, screen recording, and volume rocker options if you want to control your music. Um, you've got a bunch of options there. Uh, display, if you want to expand the desktop, so it gets rid of uh, the status bar and the navigation bar in certain apps, maybe games. You can go ahead and set this to hide uh, status bar, navigation, or both. That's what it's for. A notification panel. Um, this is really nice. You can set uh, your own custom notification uh, LED. And you'll notice when my phone is off, if I have notifications, it will get green. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Did you see that? So um, if you have notifications, you'll see it pulse in green or your custom color, which is really nice. All right, also you can set battery light. So pretty good level of customization. Now I wouldn't install this ROM just for the customization. I feel like some of the other ROMs are better. What I would really install this ROM is really for the pure Nexus performance. Uh, pretty solid ROM. I've run it on my Nexus 6P before, ran really, really well. Um, so definitely check it out if you're looking for a ROM that's very, very stable, uh, gives you a good level of customization, um, definitely check this one out for Pixel or Pixel XL. Now installation is really easy. Follow my um, twerp guide for Pixel, which allows you to install the ROM and also install the twerp permanently. I'll have a link to that guide. I'll follow that guide uh, for Pixel or Pixel XL, because if you don't install twerp zip after, you will lose twerp. The next time you install a ROM, you'll need a computer to tether and reinstall Twerp. 
uh, which can become a hassle. But this way you can go ahead and install DROMs easily. All right, go ahead and check that out and I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna go ahead and try some more ROMs this week, of course. I've got some more stuff coming for LG V20, S7, Note 4, Note 5, all that good stuff. And uh, as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.